Courtesy of viewer Bill Murphy, Phoenix Shavings Atomic Pumpkin. This is a festive masculine scent. It's in Formula CK6. We're going to build a lather with it, and we're going to have a shave coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeToon.com. I'm back with another video. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. I really do appreciate it. Love getting together with you and talking all things traditional wet shave. Well, this time around, courtesy of viewer Bill Murphy, we have a brand new shave soap in the shave den. Bill, thank you very, very much. This scent is Awesome. It's an absolute winner. Bill really loves this scent and he was saying, Mark, you got to try it. And he very, very kindly and generously sent it along to the channel. He is spot on. Love this scent. Before we get to that, hey, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, here it is. I am so excited to use this one from Phoenix Shaving Atomic Pumpkin. My gosh, is this an absolutely wonderful scent. Oh, that is really, really terrific. This is a variation of Bay Rum with a beautiful pumpkin scent folded into it perfectly. It really is wonderful. It just has that festive, masculine scent and vibe as described in the uh, description, in the description of the product page is what I'm trying to say. I've got it right here on my tablet, uh, right here through the Phoenix Shaving app. And let's remind you of the scent notes. As uh, Douglas writes on the product page, this isn't your basic seasonal pumpkin pie offering, my friends but something far more sophisticated and alluring. West Indian Bay, Moro Blood Orange, Allspice, Light Cinnamon, Ginger, Nutmeg, and Elemi Resin. Trust me when I say this really is some festive masculine magic done right. Absolutely. It's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful scent. And the other aspect, or the other quality that I like of this, uh, that I like about this, in the description is where it says organic pumpkin seed oil, PSO, is rich in vitamin E, zinc, omega-3 and 6 fatty acids, as well as antioxidants. It has tremendous benefits for the skin. In terms of retaining moisture, this will be detected in a killer post-shave feel. So I'm really looking forward to that aspect as well. Absolutely fantastic. We're going to set this aside here. We're going to be using, well, to build a lather, we're going to be using my Atomic Rocket shaving brush. So we're going to let that soak in the sink there. I'm also going to be using my Dreamscape Scuttle. I have some hot water in there, so it's warming up. I'm going to use my uh, Phoenix Shaving Copper Ascension Twist Adjustable Double Open Comb Razor. Boy, this is great. Uh, the fact that it's copper has that great heat retention quality, so we can heat this up under some hot, hot water and have a nice warm razor shave, a heated razor shave. Really looking forward to that. Also going to use the uh, Platinum Strangelet Razor Blades right there. Yeah, well, that's good. That's going to be a lot of fun. And of course, Bill Murphy very kindly sent along the Atomic Pumpkin Aftershave Splash, which is just an absolutely wonderful scent, and also the Star Jelly. So I'm all set with both of those. And I am past due for a head shave, so my next head shave is going to be Atomic Pumpkin as well. Love the scent. Absolutely love the scent. Now, uh, I'm going to have to take that off right there. Of the, uh, I'm going to scrape that off right now so it doesn't get hung up during the... Uh, eh, see if I can get... Let me see if I can scrape that off. That's on there pretty good. Okay, that's open up. Okay, I just... Okay, there it is. I scraped it off so it's open. Okay, so that won't delay applying that. 
So I go, ah, I got some little bits of paper over there, no problem. What we're going to do is, let me get the brush out of the way because I'm going to put some hot, hot water on this brand new soap puck here. This brand new soap, this untouched tub of soap. I'm going to let that bloom a little bit because I am going to do a brush load. And I'm going to build a nice warm lather. It was, my gosh, it was below freezing this morning. It's about 30 degrees right now. So I'm really looking forward to a nice, nice warm shave all the way around. There is, okay, there's the water right there. We're going to let that warm up a little bit. We're going to let the scuttle continue to warm up. I'm also going to use the solid alum block from Phoenix Shaving uh, for post shave. Let me put the brush back in the sink. We're going to use the non-mentholated uh, Cube 2.0 for pre-shave. So uh, let's get right to that. I'm also going to have a nice hot towel too. Uh, so thanks to Jamie Horn for the hot towel cabinet because this has just been a fantastic addition to the uh, to the wet shave, the uh, the addition of applying a hot towel. Now before I go any further, let me say I got about I would say two days worth of beard growth here, maybe even two and a half days worth. Can you see that? Yeah. So I've been waiting. <laughs> I've been waiting to uh, do a review. Uh, and, uh, boy, it just coincidentally, the Atomic Pumpkin arrived, and I waited one more day to have a little more beard growth, and, boy, I am so happy to be having this shave with uh, Atomic Pumpkin getting rid of this beard growth. Really looking forward to it. Again, I like to shave every day, but every once in a while, I want to let it grow in so it phot photographs uh, a little more readily so you can see it. Uh, and see that I have some beard growth there. Okay, so let's wet the face. Let's get to the pre-shave. All right, here is the Cube 2.0. This is non-mentholated. This is uh, activated charcoal and CK6. We're going to go ahead and... Um, Boy, that's marvelous. Okay, that's the cleaning phase of this shave, just to kind of clean the whisker. Get rid of some of the oil on the skin. All right, let's rinse. Okay, now we're gonna get a nice hot towel. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh man, look at that. Can you see the steam coming off of that? That's great. I'll see you in about a minute, minute and a half. That's marvelous. That really is terrific. Love that hot towel. All right, let's go ahead and uh, start the lather here. We're going to take that hot water there and just dump that into the sink. And we're going to take the uh, hot water that's been in the bowl of this uh, scuttle and dump that in. There is still hot water in the inner chamber, keeping everything nice and warm. Here's my uh, atomic rocket shave brush from Phoenix Shaving. I'm going to give that a little bit of a shake. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's probably too much. <laughs> I know that a lot of viewers out there are able to build a really nice lather with about six swirls. Well, I'm on camera. I want to make sure I have enough. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and uh, start building this lather. There was a little bit of water in the bottom of the uh, bowl that retained inside the bowl after I dumped it off. And you can see it's already starting to make... Oh, the scent is really, really beautiful. It it really is filling the room. I'm going to get a little more water on the brush. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's marvelous. Boy, that's terrific. It's just starting to explode. My gosh. Okay, a little more water. It just, here we go. Just want to make sure that cork is down.
Yeah, look at I'm gonna hold it down here a little bit just to uh make sure and I'm gonna make sure that that yeah the cork's in place. You can see how much I already have. Wow. Scent is beautiful. The scent is filling the shave den right now. It is absolutely beautiful. This it really is perfect for the autumn, perfect for the holidays. It's it's something you can use year round, but it's a, it's especially perfect for this time of year in the autumn going into the holidays. And uh, look at what I got here. Look at what I got here. Look. Look at this. Look at look at look at this here. Look at that. Look at that. Boom! Lather! Oh man! That is some wonderful, wonderful lather. I have a lot there. This atomic rocket brush did a fantastic job. We're gonna set that down there. And we're gonna wet the face one more time and uh get some uh pre-shave lather going. Okay. All right, back to the cube 2.0. Just like to work that up into a nice lather, a nice base like that. I'm going to use the uh, the hot towel here that has cooled down considerably. I'm going to use that to wipe off my hands, and we're going to go ahead and paint on this beautiful lather. Uh, you know what? CK6 is just marvelous. It is. Idiot proof. If you get a good synthetic shaving brush like this Atomic Rocket and uh, a tub of this CK6 shave soap, you're going to be able to make a lather just like this. It is very, very easy to do. Uh, you know, just, just make sure you use a little more soap than water when, you're first, when you first start out and then add a little bit of water as you go, just as I did. And you'll get a lather like this, especially if you're a beginner wet shaver. It is just, it just is marvelous. I love the Phoenix Shaving Shave Soaps and CK6. Really terrific. This scent is wonderful. It is marvelous. It is just the right amount of bay. It's the right amount of pumpkin. It's, it has just got some great, great ingredients in there that are just all folded in and combined. Oh, wonderfully. This is really, really wonderful. One scent note does not overtake the others. They're all combined and balanced very, very well. All right. Let's get my blades here that have just gotten wet from <laughs> my splashing on the counter. I'm going to have to take them out of this tuck here. Let's just set that aside. I'm going to have to dry those off. Just take them out of the package so they don't get wet. Okay, and here is uh, the uh, Platinum Stringlet Razor Blade from Phoenix Shaving, double wrap. You know, I'm just going to set that right there like that. And let's uh, undo my Copper Ascension Double Open Comb Twist Adjustable Razor. There is the uh, base plate and the cap. All right, so here we go. Let's get this like this. Okay, so here's the uh, Platinum Stringlet razor blade, and uh, here is my cap right there. We're going to set that in there like that, okay? And then here is uh, the uh, the base plate here with, uh, make sure, I, I like to, I like to make sure the lettering, <laughs> I'm strange this way, I like to make sure the, the lettering of the blade and the lettering on the base plate are going in the same direction. <laughs> I'm just, that's just me. All right, and uh, we have the buffer ring in there as well. All right, and then here's the handle. And we're just going to go ahead and tighten that up. And uh, boy, that blade just seats so nicely. And the balance and alignment are, yeah, spot on. Everything is seated very, very well. And we've got that snugged up all the way. You can see the balance and alignment there. End tabs are enclosed, and the razor head has these little notches 
on each side. So it allows you to really grasp hold of the razor so you can uh, twist it accordingly to open up or close the gap without your hand slipping off of the razor head. So we're going to go a full quarter turn like that. So you can now see that that blade gap's opened up a little bit. We're going to heat this up under some hot, hot, hot water. I want you to note that the uh, CK6 lather has remained very, very stable. Have you noticed that? Absolutely marvelous. So again, we're going to heat this up under some hot, hot, hot water. And in turn, heat up this razor so we have a nice warm razor. So we've got a warm, a warm lather. A warm razor. We're having a warm, warm shave. And I'm going to just drain the sink a little bit as well because it's getting a little too high. Okay, and we'll close that off. Oh, that's good and warm now. All right, a little swirl just to kind of bring it to the proper temperature. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. That's a nice, nice warm razor. Wow, that's marvelous. The trick is to give it a little swirl in the sink where the water is warm. Uh, I mean, the, when you put the hot water, when you, when you run the hot tap water, the, the temperature in the sink is raising a little bit. It's rising a little bit, but it's not getting really, really too hot. But when you after you heat the razor up and then you give it a quick swirl in the sink, it kind of brings that temperature down just a little bit so it's not overly hot. It's the right amount of warmth. Boy, this is fantastic. There is no tugging or pulling. CK6 is wonderful. And this scent, again is just fantastic. Boy, oh boy, I tell you, this is, this is moved right to the top of uh, my favorite Bay Rum Sense, right here, Atomic Pumpkin. <laughs> this is a good one. A lot of nice residual slickness on the face. That's fantastic. Got the chin area very well uh, for, the, for, for, uh, for the first, in the terms of the first pass, very, very well. Wow. <laughs> That's terrific. That really is wonderful. Again, the scent fills the room. It really is a marvelous, marvelous scent. All right, first pass done. Let's rinse. That is a good first pass. I am not really in socially acceptable territory because Obviously, I had a little more than two days worth of beard growth, so I'm not really expecting to be there to be there uh, with this much beard growth. After one day's worth of beard growth with that razor set the way it was set, quarter of a turn, probably. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is a really good start, though. I'm, I am borderline. Let me put it to you that way. Uh, second pass is usually my money pass, which means shave could be done after the second pass. Uh, this razor is very, very good. The blade is very, very good. But this shave soap is just marvelous. This lather is just great. And the other great thing is it's still beautifully warm from the uh, scuttle. Oh, man, is that great. Wow. A beautiful, warm lather. 
And I don't know if you uh, saw it, I forgot to point it out in the first pass, beautiful coverage of the whisker. I mean, a rich, creamy, thick, yogurty, yogurty lather that really, really uh, covered the entire whisker and uh, uh, softened it up and really did a great job of uh, preparing it for the razor to shave it away. And you can see again, another great, great coating. Less whisker, but another great coating. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to snug this up all the way. And we're just going to go about, I don't know, an eighth of a turn. Okay, not a quarter, an eighth of a turn. Or thereabouts. And once again, I'm going to heat this up under some hot, hot, hot water just to warm the razor up. Not too much. Right about there. Okay, a little swirl. We're ready to go again. Uh, pass number two, we're going to go east to west across the grain. Oh, again, just a beautiful, beautiful, warm, warm razor. It's like using a heated razor without the batteries, <laughs> without having to have the batteries, really. Still warm. And I think this is a, a really, really good setting uh, to uh, do my second pass. Not too aggressive, but not too mild. Yeah, so I did run under some hot water again, kind of charge it up a little bit. Boy, that's, that's terrific. That really is. A beautiful, warm, warm razor and a warm, warm lather. Really, really very nice. Really nice and smooth on the upper lip, too. Boy. Forgot how good these blades are. This blade, this Platinum Strangeless blade, Platinum Strangelet blade in this Copper Ascension is marvelous. It really is. Did a great job underneath the uh, the nostril there. Let me see where we're at here. You know what? I'm going to do a little bit of a touch-up here. And I'm not going to rinse. I'm just going to do a little bit of a touch-up like this. Okay? Not sure, but I might have a little bit of a micro-nick Right over here, I think I saw like a little dinger there. I did not feel anything, but we'll uh, we'll check it out. And it's something that'll probably close up with cold water and an alum block, with no problem at all. However, I do love doing um, a third pass. I think I need a bit of a bit of a touch up, but I'm going to do a third pass here. And I didn't want to rinse because I think a uh, rinsing probably would have uh, uh, might have thinned the in the lather what I have a little too much and we're going to go ahead and we're going to snug this all the way up okay it's snugged all the way up so it's a, so it's at its mildest setting so we're again going to heat it up under some hot water a little swirl here we go pass number three we're going to go south to north against the grain oh that's nice That is really, really nice. Boy! I 
I thought I had something here. I might have been mistaken. I'm not sure. Oh, it's ever, ever, ever so slight. I mean, it's like a little micro nick. It's not, shouldn't even really count it. That's going to close up. I'll close right up with some cold water. Boy, that got underneath the nostril very, very well. All right. Third pass done. Let's rinse. All right. Let's see where we're at. And I'm going to throw it to the cold water side and let that cold water run a little bit. Yeah, this shave is done. This is BVS. We're going to get another hot towel, a thin hot towel here, to uh, do my warm water rinse. I love doing it this way. Removes all the lather and retains that nice warmth. Kind of gets everything ready for the cold water rinse, which becomes very, very vibrant. You know, there's this nice contrast between this nice hot towel doing my warm water rinse and then the nice cold water splashing on my face afterwards, which is why I'm running it on low here. Oh yeah, this is BBS. And again, it's so small you can barely see it. All right, here's my cold water rinse. Oh, that's marvelous. That is absolutely great. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Boy, that's great. That is terrific. What a shave. That's BBS. Man, oh man. And again, you know, it's, I don't even think, it's so small. I don't even think I should count that. It's, you can barely see it. But we're going to go ahead and um, use the album block here. Uh, this is the solid Allen block. You know, I'm going to dispense with the uh, no slip grip. I got the no slip grip here. I'm just going to use it like this right now. And uh, the solid Allen block from Phoenix Shaving. Usually have the no slip grip on it, but I removed it just the other day. All right. Here we go. Oh man, that's smooth as ice. I got a few zings, but nothing really, really harsh or surprising. <laughs> Let me put it that way. Really terrific. And you know what? Next time, I'm going to uh, use the no-slip grip. <laughs> that is really, really helpful. That is really helpful. But I wanted to take the no-slip grip off and let the whole block breathe a little bit. And that's why it's not on there. All right. So there's the uh, Allen block. There's the dry dock like that. There is the no slip grip, which I will, uh, which I'll put on, uh, which I'll put on later on, and have it have it ready to go uh, next shave. Yeah, it, it does help. It really does help get a hold of that album block. So I'm glad I kind of had it off, just to show you that. Yeah, I was, 
<laughs> I was more aware of the Allen block and making sure it didn't slip out of my hand. All right, let me show you the lather here. Look at this lather. Look at this. Look at this lather here. Look at that. Look at this. And the scent again. Look at those peaks. Look at that. Oh, the scent is just marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. Really, really terrific. My gosh. And again, we have got the um, aftershave splash here all ready to go. All right, Atomic Pumpkin aftershave splash. And let's open this up. Oh, that's marvelous. That really, and again, the combination of ingredients and all the scent notes. I mean, it just, it just, it, everything is just folded together so wonderfully. Oh, that's really marvelous. Okay, so we're just going to, okay, we're going to get some of that on there. Shake that out like that. There is a plastic restrictor there, so that's why I'm doing a little more vigorous shaking. Okay, we're going to set that down. Slap that together. We're going to let that alcohol uh, evaporate a little bit. Now slap on. Boy, that's a marvelous scent, and that's got a little bit of a kick to it. Yeah, that, there's something there that's kind of reminiscent of uh, Diver Down, that kind of a kick. Not, not as much, but kind of in that ballpark there. Really very, very nice. Here is the Star Jelly. Thank you again to Bill Murphy. Uh, I love, I love, love, love the Star Jelly, and I love uh, having it post-shave after all my shaves for uh, a head shave and I like applying it after every shave even if I'm not doing a head shave if I'm doing a face shave I like to apply it up there just to keep everything nice and moisturized but I do need a head shave so I'm not going to be able to apply it all the way around but I think it'll kind of work its way through some of the hair up there yeah maybe just a little more this is <laughs> this is a great scent and it absorbs very nicely. So, yeah, we're just going to go and just, yeah. I mean, we're going to do a head shave later on today with the with the Atomic Pumpkin. So, yeah, it's going to be an Atomic Pumpkin day. Wow. Great, great shave. This scent is marvelous. And as Douglas Smythe writes, it's festive and masculine. That describes it perfectly love this scent bill thank you very very much you are 100 percent correct in how wonderful this is bill uh sent us along to the channel did not want uh did not want the, the viewers to miss out on this didn't want me to miss out on it and i am so very very grateful because this one is marvelous absolutely marvelous we'll have a link below where you can get this at the time I'm recording this video, it's still available. Get up there and check it out. Atomic Pumpkin from Phoenix Shaving. This is really a terrific, terrific scent. It's great for the autumn season. It's great for the holiday season. It's great year round. But uh, I can say that especially this time of year, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's great for an evening night out. It's great for everyday use. It really is adaptable uh, to just any occasion. It really is. It's not going to overwhelm, but the scent is really, really wonderful. And if you like scents that have that masculine vibe to it, this definitely delivers. And it is a fun, festive scent that has that nice masculine undertone to it. Uh, really, or not undertone, a nice masculine quality to it. Let me put it to you that way. Really, really terrific. From Phoenix Shaving, Atomic Pumpkin. My thanks again to Bill Murphy for very kindly and generously sending this along to the channel and allowing me to share it with all the viewers. Thank you again very much, Bill. Really do appreciate it. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so we'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. 
let me know. Check out all the wonderful artisan soap makers and sellers that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer some wonderful artisan shave soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. The next time you're online, please take a moment, pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady, where you'll find all the Amazon listed products that I review on this channel. Organize and categorize so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.